What are trailing zeros? Well, trailing zeros are obviously zeros, but what makes them trailing? In order for a zero to be a trailing zero, it needs to have two qualities. It needs to go after or to the right of a decimal, and it also can have no numbers after it. In other words, a trailing zero is just a zero that sits or trails at the end of a decimal. Now let's look at some examples. If we have 17.500, where are the trailing zeros? Well, we're looking for any zeros to the right of the decimal that have no numbers after it. So, these two zeros right here are trailing zeros. They're to the right of the decimal, and they don't have any numbers after them. Let's take another. 2.00560000. Find the trailing zeros. Well, these two zeros are not trailing zeros because there's a 5 and a 6 after them. These three zeros on the end, though, are trailing zeros because there's no numbers after them. One more. 0 0.99040. Find the trailing zeros. In this case, there's only one trailing zero right at the end. Now, one other thing to remember with trailing zeros is they do not change the value of the number you're looking at. Take our first example. If we were to take off the trailing zeros, we get 17.5. That's the same thing as if we had the trailing zeros on there. In addition, we can add as many trailing zeros as we want to. We can go on and on and on and on, adding zeros all day long. But I'm kind of running out of board space. So trailing zeros are just zeros to the right of the decimal with no numbers after them, and they do not change the value of the number.